We have hunted 326 boxes in our attempt to complete a Dansko Lincoln Penny album from just Coin Roll Hunting. Now, we knew there'd be some tough finds. We don't expect to find some of the key dates, but it'd be nice to fill up the book as much as possible. And no matter what, it'd be nice to see how far along we can get after a million pennies searched. Stay tuned for another Penny Hunt and Fill, episode 172, and boxes 327 and 328 for the series. Hey everyone, it's Rob Vines Treasure. Welcome back to the channel. We have a two box penny hunt in our quest to slot some more pennies in this Dansko Lincoln Penny album. Now, if you've been following all along, you know we've hunted 326 boxes and all we need is 24 more cents to complete the album, of course, like I said in the beginning, some of these key dates are going to be impossible, most likely not found, but we can still find some of the other slots. I have found the majority of these other scents in my hunts over the years, but since we started keeping track 326 boxes ago, these are the 24 that we need. All right, let's go ahead and close up this book. I'm excited to get this hunt started. We have two boxes in front of us. I know they are circulated scents. I could tell from the holes in the bottom. This one looks really good for copper, and this one doesn't look too bad either, but I put this one first because I picked up these two at the same bank at the same time, and I usually don't do that, but they said they were heavy on pennies, and then I got home and took a look at the bottom of this one, and it seemed copper heavy, so I'm gonna jump right into hunting this one first. Box number 327 on the year, holy cow. This intro is getting way too long. Let's crack open this box and see what we got peeking out back at us. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely looks good on copper. Holy cow, definitely looks like a good copper box. And honestly, it looks like there's some heavy rolls now that I look at it. If you look at there's different heights to a lot of the rolls and typically that's not something that happens. So there might just be a lot of um, copper and a lot of extra coins in here or we have some short rolls, we'll have to see. I don't see any wheat scent enders facing me, but I see a lot of copper, so I'm optimistic. We've got a good box ahead of us. All right, let me get this hunt started. I'll bring you in when I have my first find. We're on roll number three of this box, and so far, no finds on the board. Cracked open this roll, and holy cow, look at how much copper's in the roll, and watch the weight. There's only 50 pennies in a roll, and if they all were copper, it'd be about 152 grams. That means this roll has a lot of copper, and it might even be over one. It did look like it was a little tall, let me see if there's any Wheaties in here. And at worst case is, I'll let you know how many pennies were in this roll. We will have a find in this roll and believe it or not, there's a total of 50 coins in the roll. So yeah, it's almost all copper. The first wheat since of 1958 Denver. Holy cow, almost a full roll minus like eight coins. Could be a great box. Roll number seven, wheat scent number two. It's got some damage on it. That's a 1949 San Francisco, and we love seeing wheat scents with S mid marks. We'll take those all day, and that's a pretty nice obverse one as well. All right, back to the hunt. Roll number eight, and the copper is just stacking up. Third wheat scent of the hunt, the last year, 1958 Philly, and I do not see the rare DDO naked eye visible. We'll still keep it. It's got a splash of red to boot, and we'll get back to the hunt. Quick update on roll number nine. No fines for the board, but 40 copper cents to only 10 Zeke cents, and it was the heaviest roll so far, 149.9 grams. Crazy. Roll number 13 of the copper-infused box. Wheat scent number four. It's another 1958 Denver, a nice shape, a little bit of red tone to it. And uh, yeah, a lot of copper. We already got a third of the copper cup filled through 13 rolls. Not a lot of wheat scents, but not that bad. Just grabbed roll number 23 out of the box, flipped it around, and we have a wheat scent ender right there, 1950 something. I think it has a Denver mint. Let's go ahead and pull it out of there and see if it has any friends with it. Splashed out the roll. And almost had book and her wheat scents. Wheat scent number five is a 1953 Denver. And wheat scent number six, peeking out the back, is a 1940 Philadelphia. Oldest wheat scent we've found so far. 
We're on roll number 26 of the hunt, and this roll was 150.3 grams. We've only had two zinc pennies so far, all copper. We do have a wheat center report. It's number seven of the hunt, and it's a 1948 Denver, and we'll definitely take that. Same roll, just a few coins after it, another wheat cent. Wheat cent number eight, a 1955 Denver. Roll number 28, wheat cent number nine, obverse facing. Another 1948, Denver. Roll number 30 will give us wheat scent number 10. Double digits already, 20 rolls still to go. And that's a 1952, I believe San Francisco. Let me just double check. Yes, it is. 1952, S. One hour later. Well, we're now on roll 48 of the box. The last 18 rolls have been pretty much light on copper and no wheat scent. So tough second half of the box, but we will have wheat scent number 11 right here. It's going to be a 1956 Denver. We'll add it to the board and hope that we get a few more rolls with a few more finds. All right, we have finished box one of this two box hunt. Kind of a letdown for the second half of the box. Total of 11 wheat cents, nothing old. And uh, the oldest being a 1940. And we did have three last year, 1958s. I told you the copper slowed down in the second half of the box, but we still had almost a record-breaking box, probably a record-breaking box. I had to bust out the big jar. Six pounds, eight ounces. So six and a half pounds of copper in box number one of this two-box hunt. Wow. As far as Canadians, we had two, a 65 and a 63 Laurier portrait. We had, what is that, seven 1959s. We had six shinier or nice copper scents, 62, 72, 73, 4, 77, and 78. Obviously, Denver mints on many of them. And then we had two 69Ss, none of which are the DDOs, but nice to see. Box one is done. I'm hoping the sister box is similar as far as copper, but I will say in advance, I was kind of disappointed in the copper because even though there's a lot of it in here, not a lot of dates and mints on my mat that I could look for for any varieties. It was all basically a lot of 72 through 78 Denvers and not a lot of varieties in those years. All right, let's bust open this next box. Same bank, same pickup, same stamp, and uh, hopefully similar result. You know, it doesn't look like it has as much copper. Oh, and I forgot to say, in the last box, when I filmed it like this, it said a lot of the rolls looked like they were overstuffed with an extra one or being short one. It wasn't that. Because copper scents don't break down as much as zinc scents, the thickness or the height of the roll was actually just bigger because they had a lot of rolls that had 40 to 45 copper scents in them. All right, we've rambled enough. Let's get on with the hunt. Starting off with the copper. See if we can find some more goodies. It took us 13 rolls into box two to get our first wheat scent of the second box. We now have a dozen Wheaties. And uh, this one is another 1956 Denver. We're on roll number 18 of box number two. And I don't normally film the Canadian scents, but this is an oldie. 1946. You know it's going to have King George VI on it. And we'll take it. Don't know if we need it for the Canadian Small Sense album, but we'll definitely see if we do. And that makes four Canadians now in almost a box and a half. Roll number 73 of the 100 roll hunt. We have a baker's dozen. We'd sent number 13. And that's a 1942 Philadelphia. Roll number 75. We'd sent number 14. A 55 Denver. Roll number 83, wheat scent number 15 of the hunt. And that's going to be a 1944 San Francisco. Roll number 84, the very next roll. We now have 16 wheat scents. And this is another one from 1944, but from Philadelphia. Well, unfortunately, box number two was kind of a dud for wheat scents. We're going to end with 16 wheat scents. And since we had 11 in box one... Only five in box two. I've had worse boxes, but what are you going to do? The good news is the copper stayed great because in box number two, we had exactly two and a half pounds. And when I added to that, 
We actually have nine pounds of copper in this two box hunt. That's got to be a new record thanks to box number one. I'll definitely take the extra copper, although it would have been nice to get extra wheat cents along with it. I pulled this 68S out. It was early on in this box and it looked like it was an end coin of an OBW roll. You know, brilliant on one side and pretty tarnished on the other, but we never got any more 68S's that were nice. So could have just been a little uh, solo guy who made his way into my box. As far as the fun stuff over here, we got four Canadians. You saw them. We got the King George the Sixth, and uh, we got the uh, Laureate Portrait. Four total Canadian cents. We'll double check to see if any of these goes in the Canadian Small Sense albums. We also got a total of 13 1959s. You're going to find them when you're pulling a lot of copper out of the boxes. Two 69Ss and the same nice copper cents. We might have added another one or two, but yeah, we'll add those to the nice copper rolls unless they upgrade the album. What's left to do is to compare all of today's finds to the albums, see if we have any additions or upgrades. I don't think we have anything for the Penny album, but maybe the Canadian album, we'll have to see. I'll be back in just a second. We'll take a look at the books and I'll give you some final thoughts on this two box hunt. Well, unfortunately and expectedly, nothing for the Dance Code Lincoln Penny album yet again. So now after 328 boxes searched, we're hard stuck at 210 of the 234 slots that this book holds. The good news is we actually have a find for the Canadian Small Scent album. That 1946 we found will go nicely right in this spot right there. So now we have found 81 of the 115 slots and that's through 142 boxes worth of finds that we kept track of. I know it wasn't the best hunt despite how it started. I thought we were going to have a whole bunch of goodies, maybe a variety, maybe lots of Wheaties, but it just didn't pan out that way. And that's how hunting is sometimes. Sometimes if you count your chickens before they hatch, they never hatch. Either way, I still had fun. Finding a bunch of copper out there dumped into circulation for me to grab and put in my collection is always a good thing. If you guys enjoyed this two box penny hunt, I certainly would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.